Hello everyone, Racetime911 here, and today in this Farming Simulator modding tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a work light to your mod in vanilla. So, without any player created scripts, how to add a work light. So, if that's the way you want to add your work light, then stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. So, to start off with, you're going to want to go into a folder, unzip your mod, have it all laid out and that way it'll make it easy to work on. So what you're going to want to do once you have it all unzipped is you're going to want to open your i3d and your xml. So both of these files will be used for when you're adding your work light to your mod. Okay, so I think we'll start off with the i3d file. So starting with the i3d, open it up and you should have Giants Adder 7 Point one, well not 7.1 but 7.0 or better to open these i3d files okay anyway so let's say you have a police car mod and you wanna have spotlights and you want to have those as work lights so you press a certain button and those lights will come on and separate of the headlights Okay, so how you can do this is, first of all, you're going to need the lights, which I've already put in. I put in the lights and the coronas for the work lights. So, when you've got that set up, and by setting up your lights, all I really mean is to just position the lights where you want them. So, for instance, just move it to, let's say you want it the center of the bumper, put there, and basically that's setting up your lights. It's just putting them where you want to have them. I put my lights in somewhere here. Okay, so spotlight right here, I have the lights. As you can see, I have two coronas and an actual light, which shines light on the ground. So we can see that right there, that's a yellow bit. Okay, so, and we've got index for it. So basically what you're going to want to do is get a real light. You can copy from your front headlights or basically just create a new light, create light, and then go to, likely if you're doing a vehicle you're going to want to have a spotlight because it points in a certain direction. Then you can just change all these to zero just to get centered and everything and easier to work with. Rotate it the way you want, set it up, and basically when you got that done you have your light then you can sort of edit in the light panel under attributes panel and then you can sort of change the cone angle if you want to maybe change it to 40 and that will make the light it's putting out thinner 20 and 10 as you see when you change that it gets thinner and I have a, another video tutorial on this going through and adding the light so if you want to look at that that'll be in the description and as far as coronas I don't think I mentioned that so coronas you can copy the coronas from your front lights or your back lights or turn lights or whichever you want depending on the color or change the color I have a video on that you can see that in the description but anyway that's pretty much all you gotta do you can get your corona from inside another part for your vehicle, control D, control X, paste it inside the vehicle, control V, and then just move it to wherever you want it, and then you just take the index and put in the XML as I'll show you, and that will set up your work light. Now we're going to move on, so basically I already have one of these lights already set up in here for my spotlight along with the two coronas like I mentioned earlier. So basically now we can go to our XML file, open that up with Notepad, and then scroll down to the light section. Now that you're in your light section, what you're going to want to do is you likely have already some lines in there for your lights. So for example, a line like this or so on, light decoration and then an index, light types, those are the three most important parts of your light section. And I already have my coding set up for my work light, as you can see here, and all labeled and everything, which I'll go through and explain to you. But 
uh, as far as it goes, it's pretty simple to get set up. All you need to do is have this section here, light, then real light, the index of your light, so where it is in the editor, and your light type. So basically this segment of code is all you need, and you can copy it from... Likely there will be another section in under lights where you can copy it from, like so, just copy and paste it and then change the index so that matches your light and that's how you'll set it up. So basically what you want to do is find your work light like I have it here, it's selected the light to our work light, the real light then copy the index path 8132 we have and basically what I did here is I set it up like this so basically this is our real light for our work light as you can see 8132 so, actually, as far as light types go, two w would be a front work light, and three would be a rear work light. And as you can see, this would likely be a front work light. So we're going to put that as type two. Now, here we have 32. That's because down here I have it again. And as you can see, 32. And that's the other light for the other spotlight. So I got that set up, and that will also be light type 2 since it's a front work light. Now, here I got the decorations for the work lights. So basically, as you can see here, the coronas, as you can see, these are 30, 0, 8130, 0, and 8130, and 1. So as you can see, those are here. And then over here for the other one, I also got 8130 and 8131. So you can see those right here. So basically, since these are the decorations to the spotlights or the work lights, they should come on at the same time as the real light. So we're going to set it up so that these are also light type 2. So they're classified as a front work light as well. And now basically what we've done here is we've set up the code so that the work light will be considered a work light. And as you can see here, if you wanted to add another work light, all you'd have to do is copy this code, paste it, and then you'd have another real light code section. So then let's say you had another real light at 8131. So then you could put 8131, light type 2, and if you have a real light at that index in the adder, then it'll use that as a work light in-game. So basically that's all you gotta do to add a work light to your mod. And just remember, if you want a front work light, it's 2 and rear is 3, but honestly, Either way, it'll come on when you press 6 on your keypad, numpad, in-game. So that's pretty much all you gotta do. You just get the index is of your decorations, your coronas, and also of your real lights, or the lights that shine on the ground, the light bulb icons, and then put them in to your XML and classify them as light type 2 or 3 so that they're considered a work light and then you have a vanilla work light system that will work when you press keypad 6. And one more thing to keep in mind if you change either your low or your high the decorations and real lights in there then one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you copy those changes between your low and high so that they are the same. So for instance, we just changed all this in relating to work lights in the low section, so we'll just copy those changes over to the high section. And one last thing to note in regards to adding your work light is to make sure that under the states in your light section that one of the states has light types 2 or 3 listed depending on which type of work light you're adding light type 2 or 3, so front or rear work light. So just make sure that somewhere in the states you have light type 2 and 3 come on. And you may have more states than 2, you may have 
three states or so, but make sure that somewhere along those states that light type 2 and 3 are listed. So basically, that's all you need to know. So, I do hope this short little tutorial has helped you to add a work light to your mod. If it has, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and check out my other tutorial videos. Alright, that'll be all for now. I thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully. Bye.